Hello guys, and in today's chess video, I'm going to ask a question. Should you take the rook? Now, I'm going to... Go through a game that I played earlier, okay? My favourite opening, which nobody but me understands at all. Which is basically pawn to king rook four. At this point, I'm just trying to give myself. I'm offering here a queen exchange. They don't take it. And rather stupidly, because they didn't accept the queen exchange, I then took their rook. Now, in this particular case, <coughs> I did take their rook. Um, they might have been able to trap my queen in some way by moving that. But they didn't. So then I might be in trouble, but later I might be able to free the queen in some way. But I did. They didn't do that. So now I move it back so that I've got my queen back. So that was at perhaps a reasonably good time to take a rook. But more on that later. Okay. Now later my opponent will try to do something very similar, but we'll see. I'm just taking pieces at this point. I'm practically treating it like Monopoly in some ways. I can now take their pawn because they can't take anything else. Now it looks fairly dangerous at this point, but what am I going to do? I'm not quite sure why I did this, but um, and didn't just take the um, bishop off. I think I had some clever ideas, which I'm not quite sure what they were. So I've taken several pieces off at this point, and they I've lost a bishop. Okay. Now it's looking very dangerous for me, as if I'm going to lose my rock at this point. Now. At this point, I do not see any reason why they wouldn't take my um, rook afterwards. For some reason that I do not understand, they didn't take my rook yet, but never mind. They should have taken my rook at this point, but they didn't. Now it's my turn to do a few checks. And they've lost their knight in the process. I'll just go back a bit. That, that was a bit fast. So again, they've lost their second. For some strange reason, they move their um, pawn down to protect the king. And immediately, they lost their second rook. Now, they think they're going to be clever. I moved my king out of the way. I wasn't being too clever as to where I moved the king. Now this is where they thought they'd been very clever. So I just happened to move my king there. And I didn't notice this originally. But this is where they thought they'd done a brilliant forking check.
And now I do a move which doesn't seem very good. In fact, um, it's one of the few legal moves. But it is absolutely brilliant. Really. I take the pawn. Now, I'm going to ask you a question at this point. Um, my opponent has lost both of his rooks. And he has the chance, I'm assuming it's a he, it could be a she. Um, they have the chance to take my rook. Should they take the white rook? Which I can take with the queen. Should they take it? Now, most people would think, great, you finally got an opportunity to level up the game and take the rook. And it looks like a no-brainer. Why wouldn't anybody take the rook? After all, that if you were black, you are two, um, rooks down. You're also two bishops down. Sorry, one bishop down, so you're down by um, one bishop and two rooks and you would think to yourself well i'll even the game up and also they're down by a knight as well so they're down by a knight a bishop and two rooks so you'd think they would want to take any piece they could of mine and rather foolishly they did just that so let's go back a bit before i do and see how this happened I was in check. I could have moved. I happen to move here. But I could also move there. I could have moved there. Or I could have moved there. But I actually decided to move here instead. Which, on the surface, I, I didn't even realise what I was doing. I just did it because I thought, well, it may be useful later. And I had a clever idea. And my opponent, well, I would take the pawn at some stage. My opponent fell for it, although I didn't realise entirely how brilliant what it was until I'd done it. And that was an astonishing move, and you will not appreciate why, and my opponent couldn't believe how lucky they were, and took the um, rock. That was an absolutely catastrophic move for them. A terrible, terrible move. Absolutely catastrophic for them. And you think, why? Now, I'm going to show you why. On the next move, I believe it's mate in two. I'm not an expert on the exact term. If I believe now, I have mate in two. So, well, I'm not sure of the exact numbers. I now move here, check. At this point... It is realistically game over. They simply cannot win from here. At all. And I'll show you why. Let's look at... All the options. Let's look at what they actually did first. They moved the king up here. I moved the queen over. Checkmate. And let's look at what else they could have done.
they could have moved the king down here. And not sure why is that not checkmate? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. The only reason why it's not checkmate is there's only one move they could do. They can move the knight in front. Check. Move this in front. Checkmate. So, from here, they can even do that. And it's And then, again, checkmate. Or As I said, the only... If instead they had um, yep, and they also can't move this pawn either because if they move that pawn, it will um, force them check with the queen. So they can't move that pawn. So there's all they can do. Let's go there or there. And as I said, no matter which position they move to, it's checkmate. They cannot stop it. So by taking my rock, they immediately lost the game. Now let's go back a bit. Now, what could they have done instead? Well, they could have scared off my king. So they could, for example, have moved there. Then I would have to move my king out of the way somewhere. But in a very short amount of time, they would probably lose other pieces like their knight. And for example, just supposing I moved that there. Now that my king is out of the way. In fact, even better still, if I move there, that one well, it wouldn't be. Now, 
now they will lose either their bishop or their queen. If they, if I move the king, lose the queen. If I, if I take this, and they lose the. Mm. And then the game would carry on in some way. So in some way the game would have carried on. And with the possibility. Of perhaps it's ending somehow differently. So there you go. Going back again to what actually happened. And there you go, that was checkmate. So, sometimes you shouldn't take a rook, okay? And while they were losing because of pieces, they didn't lose in the end because of um, they didn't have enough pieces. They lost because they were greedy. And being greedy is one of the main reasons people lose in chess, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.